you can do it. All right, y'all getting two for the price of one. Messy. Okay, and this is piggybacking off of what I just said in the last video about the bubble. A lot of times, the only reason that anybody is able to put you in a bubble in the first place is because you don't fully have your independence all the way, whether it's your independence of your mind or it's your independence of your finances or it's independence of your physical. Independence, is it can be in a variety of, of areas. It's not just independence with things. It can be just independence mentally. A lot of times we can be very, very codependent on somebody for our mental voids that we have. We can have abandonment issues because we struggling with not getting to terms of the abandonment issues we went through from whatever time in our life. We feel like we need to be codependent on somebody to provide and fill that void when that is your job to do that. Your job in the God above. So you have to build your independence with your finances. Stop having it to where you're not trying to get financial freedom with a better job, more education. Get your financial freedom with making sure you got at least a driver's license. Make sure you got a driver's license. Make sure you got a car. Make sure you got your own place to where you ain't got to keep, hey, can I stay with you? You know, why you can't help me? You, you putting yourself into somebody's hands where they can fuck all over you. And you wonder why people can put you in the bubble because you're placing, here I go, here. So fix your mind, fix your finances, and fix your living arrangements. If you can't fix them three, you want to stay in somebody's box, you want to stay in somebody's bubble, and you will never ever have the freedom to have the powers in your hand. It's called a power hand. Take your power back. Like me, I pay the cost to be the motherfucking boss. I ain't aggressive. I ain't trying to replace a man, this, that, and the third. But I've been placing so many people bubbles. That's why I can tell y'all this shit. I will never in my life have a man control me or have anybody feel like they can dominate me because I don't have my power or I don't have my independence. That's why I strive so hard for my independence because I've been there. I almost lost my life because I put myself into a guy hand that I thought I could trust. And long and behold, he used his power over me. So get your independence, baby, and take your power back. You can do it.